All right, this is the Eberly Stock mainframe and the F7 Kite accompanying it. This is another one of the packs that we just got through with a big backpack test today. We threw 60, well, we threw 50 pounds of salt. All the packs weighed close to 60 pounds. Did several miles and across a bunch of different backs. And I'm gonna walk you through this one real quick and some of the more uh, in-depth features. One thing that's important to note about the mainframe is it is a standalone pack. And then it has a bunch of different types of packs and pack accessories that can be attached to it. Again, in this case, it's the F7 Kite. So I'm gonna strap, I'm gonna unclip that off right away. And we're gonna talk about the two of them separately. So as you can see, this pack, the, the uh, F7 comes off super easy. The mainframe itself, this is the tall version, which I highly recommend. I don't think it's worth going with the short version, no matter how short your torso is, because you just lose a little bit of height and the weight advantage that you gain isn't worth what you give up. You'll notice that it's got a zipper side on each side. That's because Everly Stock makes a bunch of different bags that actually zip straight onto this thing. One of my favorites is the J bag. It's actually waterproof. It's a roll top style. It's awesome for packing heavy loads of meat because you can just dump the meat right in there, rip that thing off, hose it out, and you're good to go. So the F1 mainframe in and of itself is a super light, ultra sturdy pack system that literally, I mean, our conclusion today was if you can put it on there and stand up with it, it'll handle the load. So it's a great starting point for the Everly Stock line of existing or of auxiliary packs. Now, when it comes to the auxiliary packs, what's interesting about them, you'll notice that at the bottom of this pack, um, there's room for a hip belt here. So if I'm gonna backpack way back in the sticks, I can throw my mainframe off and maybe even like a J bag or something else that's like a roll bag that's got my sleeping bag, etc. in it. I can throw it off, I can rob the hip belt from the mainframe, run it in here and the shoulder straps, and I've got myself an ultralight standalone backpack system that's still got a decent amount of rigidity, so you're gonna have a, a real healthy day pack to go with. So it's a great system if you're gonna backpack in somewhere in base camp, dump a bunch of heavy stuff, and then take off with this. Having said that, this is a roll top style, which a lot of Everly Stocks bags are. Again, I'm a fan of that simply because if you have a small amount of a load in there, you can roll the bag down super tight and you don't have all of this excess fabric up here flapping around you're trying to deal with. Everly Stock is also pretty famous for having extremely durable clip and webbing systems. You're not gonna break one of these out in the field. Again, they're basically built to haul a tank. You can access this either through the roll top or through in this case, a U-shaped zipper design. Super simple, straightforward bag. There's a couple of small uh, pockets that you can drop into here and run off of. But overall, it's just basically a good device to, again, to run around on a day pack basis with. Drop your meat bags, knife, etc., in there. Flashlight, extra clothes, and go ultralight once you're back in several miles. I guess the final thing that I would say again about Everly Stock in general is that it's important to note that almost all of the systems that are associated with the mainframe are modular. So as you shop, be sure and think about the potential solutions that you can find, because this is just one of many great partners that go with the F1 mainframe. Again, this was a little bit different pack than the rest of them that we tested today, because it is a true pack frame uh, that can double as a backpacking solution. I guess what I would suggest is if you're looking for something that can be a great shed hauling load to haul heavy loads or even do some of that base camp style that I mentioned before, it's a great solution for that. I can't really compare it to the other packs per se, simply because again, it's a very unique system uh, that also works great for backpacking. So stay tuned uh, for more videos around those packs. All six of the packs come out as separate videos as well. And uh, we really appreciate you smashing the, the uh, subscribe button if you get a chance, if you like the videos, and thanks for watching.